guess I'm immortal When I feel like this, I'm immortal When I feel like this, I'm immortal Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel We are going to jump into wildflowers again um, so I slept, and this is where we're starting off. I don't think Grandma... I went by that newfangled church, the consciousness center, or whatever you call it, shortly after Cameron moved here. He's a nice sort of fellow, and I think he means well, but he's not terribly <laughs> bright, unfortunately. Grandma! <laughs> I know the poor man can't help it. I just hope he doesn't cause too much trouble around here. Wow, tell it like it is, Granny. It will be good to have the garden in uh, full bloom again. I always hit that. All right, let's see. Just making sure everything is recording correctly. All righty. My daughter gets a little... Loud. I don't know if y'all hear it or not, but I gotta have to. I gotta have to. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I have to remind her. Be quiet. All right, let's see. Ooh. Are they doing it? We got some bees, so maybe. Such a weird noise for when your watering can is empty. Oh. Alright, let's check these down here. Um, six hours and twenty minutes. Same. Alright. run on over here I wish we could get the mine open um, I don't see too much of anything I could use some weeds. We're running a little bit low. Little sticks. See one up there. Mushroom. All I see. Let's go check on Thomas. See what he's doing this fine day. Hello, sir. Well, now, your first potatoes didn't look all that bad. Thanks, I think. And how did you know? I stopped by Lena's not long after you. We were admiring your work. No rot, not too many quirky spots on the tubers. Oh, I was definitely checking them over for rot and, um, quirky spots. <laughs> so that looks like corn, potatoes, carrots. Fruit trees. It's awesome. Here's some witch weed. Go on. Ah, Sophia might be over here. No. Amira. I ran into Natalia at the diner, and she asked me to vet her dating app profile. I did my best, but I don't understand why anyone bothers with dating apps. 
I've never used them. And even if I wanted to, they don't cater to queer women. Why would they not? But there are dating apps that do, I'm sure. I've got friends that... Well, no. Oh, such a pretty know. girl. That would be a shame. Do they not realize there's someone out there for everyone? Shells for me. Hello, little crab. I would love to take you home with me. If only I had a net. Hello, Thomas. Oh, I already spoke to you. Silly rabbit. Alright, now let's go down here. Come on, we need bananas and conch shells. Yeah, banana works. <laughs> banana always works. Oh. Let's try chub. Um, I'm gonna bum, hold bum, off bum, for the lobster. Oh, Ooh, we got it. Yeah. First try. Yay, more ink. Princess. My abuela accidentally taped over the video of my fifth grade talent show with one of her novelas once. Oh no, I'm sorry. That must have been upsetting. Not at all. Not to shade my 10 year old self, but that performance <laughs> did not need to be saved for posterity. <sighs> that was cute. Oh, holding off for the bottle. Oh, here it comes, too. Yay! Gotcha. Is that a bottle? Ooh. With a recipe inside. Keeping luck. Nice. Ooh. Don't know which one I want more. I guess the it might be a squid. Oh, quick! Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, another lobster. Oh yeah, when we, uh, when I went to the casino, the last time I ate at the steakhouse down there, I had a bone-in ribeye and lobster tail, and it was amazing. It was so good. So freaking good. I haven't had good lobster in a long time. I know it's not technically Otto's fault that my dad isn't mayor anymore, but sometimes I think I should just move my shop so it isn't right next door to Town Hall. Having to watch him do his self-important walk by my windows every morning is yeah. tough. Yeah. Poor thing. Oh, so Bruno's giving you a fishing rod too, huh? He tried to get Juliet into fishing, but she didn't take the bait. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. I think he's just lonely. That's sweet. Let's see so, you did your babysitting experience oh. prepare you for twins? <laughs> oh, Tara, nothing prepares you for twins. At least they're not toddlers anymore. They don't try to put everything that's not nailed down in their mouths. Sorry, I was sneaking a drink. Trying to be quiet. Um. Hmm. 
Your dad was the one who ran the bar, right? What did your mom do when your parents still lived here? She set up a pharmacy where Amira's clinic is now. Some folks didn't take her seriously at first, seeing that she wasn't from Fairhaven or a doctor. But you only disrespect Kaya and Timbu Haas once before you learn never ever to do it again. Kaya and Timbu Haas. Oh, and just fair warning, my voice is going out. So, yeah. <sighs> Every night I tell myself I should go hang out at Damon's bar, make more of an effort to like put myself out there. And almost every night I stay on the couch binge watching some show I've already seen a million times. Same. Same. Twinsies. All right. Yeah, my throat is um very itchy, scratchy right now. Oh, I don't have any of that. This is my girl Natalia. Yuch! Ah! Oh, no. uh, ooh, is everything okay, Natalia? Oh, I just smashed my thumb with my hammer. I don't know why I ever thought I could do this. I was an insurance claims adjuster. Sat behind a desk my whole life. Uh, I'm just as bad. If it makes you feel any better, I almost drove a garden spike through my own foot earlier today. Uh, oh no! Oh, it's not easy, is it? But it's worth it. Oh, thanks for letting me vent some steam. Speaking of which, I better get back to my forge. Look, I know coming to Fairhaven was the right choice for me. Maybe someday I'll tell you that story. It's hard for me to even believe it sometimes. Hmm. Ooh, I got a um, achievement. New acquaintances. Tara and Natalia are new acquaintances. That's nice. They're new acquaintances. What's wrong, Natalia? The twins put bath bombs in my slack tub. Again. I just finished cleaning it out from the last time. <laughs> Uh, she's still got the same stuff. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, go in here and talk to. Uh, don't tell me. Um, I, I want to call him Ty because he looks like my nephew with the red hair and freckles. Angus, like the steak. I oh, remember oh, now. Oh, you know who's single? Messenger Cameron. He's the greatest guy. Uh, well, Francis isn't a fan, but he's probably a wee bit jealous because I ramble on about the Consciousness Center all the time. And then I'm like, Francis, Cameron doesn't even play for our team. You don't have to be so catty <laughs> about the league. And then he gets mad because I said he was being catty. That's cute. All right, let's see. Um... I don't have anything to sell you. Got nada. Bag nabbit. I got a learn to bike. Let's go in here and see Otto. You visited the local <clears throat> drinking establishment, I hear? You mean the bar? I care about supporting small businesses, but I was hoping this particular small business would close when Damon's parents went back to South Africa. It seems like he really loves the bar, though. Yes, he does. For some reason. They're just so snotty. I mean, why you gotta be like that? Life's too short to be miserable. All right, let's talk to Miss Snotty. So what did you do back in the city? I was an editor for an online news magazine. Oh, you were a journalist. Huh. Our little newspaper folded not too long after the mine closed. I think the town is better for it, to be honest. 
Editorials tend to stir up negative feelings and pit neighbor against neighbor. Fairhaven has been more peaceful without it. Hmm. Lena told me when you guys were kids there used to be a movie theater here. Yeah, I remember that. It only had one screen, so you just had to watch whatever was playing. Oh, still, that was something. Sometimes I think about ordering a projector with my babysitting money. It must be nice living with your grandma. She makes really good pie. Don't tell Sophia, but I like Hazel's better. <laughs> well, uh, grandma needs to be making me some pies because I'm getting tired of this having to cook for myself. This morning, Violet saw my shirt, told me it looked bad and made me put on another one. And actually, she was right. This one does look better. She's really good at that stuff. I wish she could sell clothes instead of flowers. But she said, shirts don't grow on bushes and flowers do. Mom and dad say that Emmy and I will get into big trouble if we play near the mine. But I know that there's treasure in there. Maybe there's even monsters. Ben, mines don't have monsters in them. That's just silly. Then how come nobody's fixed it yet? Good point. He might be on to something. Alright, let's go over here. And we're gonna check in the forest. Oh wait, Parker, what you got going on here, Selena? I forgot all about you. He's a handsome man. Let's see. How's it going, Parker? Fine. I just had another parent-teacher conference with Vanessa. I get that my kids can be a handful sometimes, especially Finn. But aren't their antics pretty age-appropriate? Nowadays, it's all impulse control this, attention deficit that. Just seems some folks are quick to pathologize normal kid behavior, at least for certain kids. Mm, I don't know. My daughter has autism and ADHD, and they were not quick to label her at all. I was the one pushing to get her labeled because she was struggling so freaking hard. Let's see... I really want to do the vegetable ranch, but all I can afford will probably be, let's see, what are you? Yeah, will be the tool shed. I can make a bigger shed, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and- Yeah, yeah, we got it, dude. We got it, dude. My eyeballs are just not working correctly. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, ADD or ADHD, autism, anxiety disorder, borderline schizophrenia. Um, she has, uh, Let's see. Well, she has like the beginnings of Chiari malformation. It's just not very big. The herniation is not very big. Um, so it's, she gets headaches, but not horrible yet. It'll probably get worse. I hope it doesn't. But And that's just a few of the things. She's got so much going on, y'all. It's not even funny. Let's see what Shelby's got going Some on. Some folks in town are afraid of the woods. I try to ease their minds about it, but it's no use. Hard to reason with irrational fear. All right, what you got for sale? I will buy that conch shell. I will buy that mushroom. Mm. What can I sell you? Huh. I almost want to buy that coconut, but I'm not going to. That'll be all right. Hello, Bruno. Helena was such a great teacher. She really loved kids. Would have liked to have had more than just Otto, but uh, sometimes the currents don't go the way you want them to. 
That is true, Bruno. That is true. Easy now. Come on. I would like <coughs> to have more energy. <coughs> Surely there's a spell for that. can do here. These flowers will be ready to uh, pick this evening. I don't know if we'll make it back or not. Um, what, do I have the wood? Oh, I only have 16. Um, oh, let's see, Jay. Gotta have 50. Holy smokes. Well. That's just not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> Here and see if there's any fish. Nope. Fiddle sticks. Oh, wait. Eek. Uh, I keep running back. I'm sorry. I forgot I need to pick up some things from in here. I need to get some rice. Um, that's probably enough. This way, I suppose. Here's Miss Violet. Uh, we already talked to you. I ain't got no honey yet. I just don't know. I've got no energy. I don't want to waste. Ooh, these are done. That's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and get another one built. I think I might have the wood. Yeah. Do I have room for another? No. Okay. Whoa. Now, oh, Grandma, you built garden beds. I'm all out of strength. I could make or buy some food. Oh, shush. Ah, stuck. 
Get me out, I'm stuck in your pocket. Hey, Grandma. Grandma, the garden beds are ready. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping me like this. I found some seeds in the bottom of a drawer mm, yeah, you might nice. like to plant. Otherwise, there's more variety down at Lena's store. Ooh. Cauliflower. Nice. How are those beans for Thomas? They are not ready yet, Grandma. Well, just keep watering them. They'll come in time. Matter of fact, I think they're supposed to be uh, ready tomorrow. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alright, so I need a little bit of pick me up. Well, I hate to do that, but I will. Very good, very good. All right. And we got even more wood to collect. <laughs> oh. All right. So, where can I get more wood? I really need an axe. Oh. There's a piece over here. If I run out of places to get the wood, sorry, I was opening my daughter's drink. What am I supposed to do? Because I don't, I can't. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think there's any wood up here, is there? No. Hmm. Craziness. I don't know. I said to clear out over here, but how can I clear this stuff out? What about you? Can I chop you? No. Hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Anyways, um, it's only 310. Got no energy. Let's just freaking go to bed, right? Everything's watered. Everything's good. We're going to Should bed. Should I go to bed? Yeah, why not? Oh. And we don't have to water it. It's raining. That's oh. a good thing. <sighs> Uh, Grandma's got a quest. Stay a moment, honeybee. How are you finding the town now that you've met everyone? I know we're a bit different than the folks you might have known back in the city. That's a good thing, actually. I needed to say goodbye to all of that. For now, at least. You haven't said much about your fiancé. Do you want to talk about what happened with... I'm sorry, I have such a bad memory for names these days. Matt, Claire, Sam. Okay, well, Matt is my son's name. Claire, I love women, but I'm not into women. So I guess Sam, although Sam could be a man or a woman. I'm going to go with Sam, because you never know. <laughs> Sam. There really isn't much to say. I woke up one day with a note next to my pillow saying that we were over. We haven't spoken since. <laughs> what a coward. Grandma. I'm sorry, but it's true. 
My view is too many folks take the easy way out these days. You deserved better than that, Terra. Thank you, Grandma. On this island, when folks want to break up, they'll tell you to your face. It's a bit of a convoluted tradition, actually, but... Well, we're putting the cart before the horse, aren't we? And maybe it's time for you to get back on the horse. Anyone caught your eye yet? I'm not sure I'm ready to date again, Grandma. Come now. You can't spend all your time doing farm chores. You've got to live a little. Really? I'm happy just to make new friends. For now. Fine, fine. Suit yourself. But if you really want to make new friends, a little generosity never hurts. Here, take this and give it to Thomas. You'll see what I mean. Okay, no time like the present. Give cornbread to Thomas. You got it, Grandma. Um, I gotta make some food, though. Let's see. Um, sushi. Do I want to use sardine? Yeah. Yeah. I need the sushi. I ain't got no coconut. Uh, I don't want to use that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's just go with this. Tried and true. All right. Here we go. Um, it's raining, so that's good. Let's go ahead and do our beans. All right, let's plant wheat seeds. Eight days. Uh, let's see what calendar. Um, see a calendar all right well we're gonna go ahead and do wheat you guys you're good you're good you're all good you got any honey for me honeys no because I'm flowers I ain't quite ready uh, let's go over here Stick with my routine. Go up here and look for a mushroom or whatever. I see thistle. That'll work. Just look over here for there's weed. Another weed, that's great. Another weed. Guess we're getting weed. Go over here to Thomas. Oh, wait, did I tell Grandma? Oh, okay. Well, Thomas, it is your lucky day, son. Hey, stop. Come here. Thomas, I've got some green beans for you. Grandma said you needed them to make an order. Oh, she did. 
Huh. Well, thank you. That will be a help. Stay there a moment. I got something for you. Nice. Uh, hello? Who are you? Oh. What's it? You can see me? Oh, oh yeah, you're so standing cute. right there. Oh, it's just m m most humans don't take much notice of me. My family and Thomas's family got a long history. I like to help out where I can. I do too, I guess. Well, you must be a good witch then. <laughs> oh. Wait, how did you know I was... Where did she go? Where did who go? Um, the cat. You know, the, the stray? Right. Well, here's something for helping me out. It's not much, but it's what I have. Thanks, Thomas. Oh, wow. Where have you been? Task complete. You've been rewarded with 150. Nice. We needed that. So, who is the little goblin? Alright, come here, Thomas. Where'd you go? I gotta give you this cornbread. Here's some cornbread, Thomas. Grandma made it. Oh, thanks for bringing it by. That's very kind. Sure. You're welcome. You discovered one of Thomas's favorite foods. Oh, great. All right, so see. how long's the farm been in your family, Thomas? My dad used to come over on the ferry to work in the mine after the harvest was done for the year. One day, Hazel mentioned the land was for sale. Mom wasn't too sure about leaving our family and community back in Milkwater, but once she saw the view, she knew Dad had found something special. Mm. That's nice. All right, let's go back to Grandma and tell her that we gave Thomas the cornbread. See, I think when we open up the mine, I can make the axe so I can chop down these big trees. Um, all right, so, okay, I need, hold on, Grandma, hold on. I need to see if I can make a potion. Get that sucker being made. Ah, uh, there's nothing in there I can make. Well, did you give Thomas the cornbread? Yes, and he seems to like it. <laughs> Thomas is a bit hard to win over, but I think you two will get on fine, and giving him his favorite food will certainly help. Ah, so what you're saying is I should bribe my way into my neighbor's hearts. <laughs> exactly. Well, talking to them once in a while helps too. You'll get to know them better that way. And maybe soon you'll find someone you really want to get to know. If you get my meaning. Yep, I mm. think I got it, Grandma. Okay, no time like the present. Task complete. You've been rewarded with cornbread recipe. Grandma's trying to get me uh, busy. Uh, let's see what you got to say, Grandma. I hope you get the chance to reconnect with Lena. The two of you had so much fun when you were little. Oh, I remember. Oh, well, except that one time when one of her chickens nearly pecked all of the feathers off of one of ours. Oh, that's right. Nasty little bird. Bully. Well, I made him into coca van after he died of <clears throat> natural causes. Anyway, Lena won't say much <laughs> about it, but I think she and Parker are having some difficulties. I'm sure she could use a good friend right now. Aww. Hey, if that makes Parker single, <laughs> just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> All right, let's go downtown, baby. We're going to make our rounds. Ooh, what you got? Chup -a -dup -dup -dup. Ooh, which one do I want? Oh, quick! Not you, little guy. Sorry. 
Yeah, I'll take that one. Ooh, a scup, also called porgies. Scup are white-fleshed, mildly flavored fish that live in the ocean. An epic catch. Nice. I like epic catches. Hello, skitty scat. Oh, hey. Oh, what a good turn. I wonder if I can give the, the fishy, uh, uh, the cat. A fish do I have? What about a char? What? A scoop. What about a minnow? Will you eat a minnow? Meow. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Okay. <gasps> Listen to that purr. Get one more pet. Okay. Anything growing up here? No. Anything down here? Just some seaweed. Have it. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of worm. No, no, no. No! <laughs> That's okay, I didn't wanna. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna wait for that bottle. We're gonna let all these fish go, but I'm getting that bottle. Yay. That doesn't look like a fish. Ooh, it's rice a recipe. Wine. Nice. Uh, what we got here? Mm -hmm. Gonna wait for that lobster. Probably a squid. Oh, quick! Wow! Nope, oh, it's a clam. Clam chowder. What do we got over here? Let's try it again. Oh, yeah! Are we starting? Yep. Looked like a goldfish. <laughs> And some banana nanner nanners. And a crab over here. <laughs> Waiting for the crab. Oh, oh yeah! Ooh, squid, yeah. If we get pushed for cash, I guess we can always uh, sell our fish. I don't want to fish right now. Ooh, but I will fish that guy. I want the big guy. <laughs> Tuna! An epic catch. Nice. A 
keep saying I don't want to do it. And here I am freaking fishing constantly. I'm telling you, fishing's in my jam. No, thank you. Oyster. Alrighty. Let's see what you got in here. Um. Have you met Juliet? She comes by here a lot. I don't mind. There's not that many kids in town for her to relate to. Oh. Alright, so let's see what you've got. Recipe for meat lovers. I don't have any meat though and I don't want to waste my money right now. Oh. What is that? That's poor. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, I don't know what you like. Shelby, where you waddling off to in a hurry? I have better than What's wrong, Shelby? Was making some tea, but the rain put my fire out. Oh, I could bring you some tea. No need. It'll stop soon enough. And how are you finding our fair town? I hope it's going easier for you than it did for me when I moved here. Why? What happened when you moved here? I was paddling back out after catching a bomb and riding it inshore. Uh, this noob dropped in on me and bam! Uh, smashed right into my shoulder. Um, you went back out I stay on the beach. At least the surfing was epic. Ooh, well, at least it sounds like you had an epic surf day before the accident. That I did. It was firing that day. I never doubted that I would get back on the waves. I just had to wait for Dr. Syed to give me the all clear. Then I started working for Sheila, who used to run this stand. Uh, when she pieced out to retire in Milkwater, I took over. Glad you're here. Stop by anytime. <laughs> So, let's see what he has for sale. Paprika and chocolate. Mm. Mm. I think I might buy a paprika and a chocolate. Don't have anything I could sell him though. I don't know what he'd like. Uh, maybe sushi? What? You think that just because I surf a lot, I'm always hungry? Well, I am. Mm. Okay. See ya. Um... Hey, Lena. At the till again? Well, I have to be. Since my dad retired a few years ago, it's just me running this place. Parker helps when he can, but he has his workshop. Sometimes I pay Sebastian to help me restock the shelves if he wants new grip tape for his skateboard. But otherwise, it's all me. Poor thing. So food, it looks like food is the only gift. That's a shame. Let's buy an egg. Um, sell more to unlock. Ooh. I don't have anything to sell. Uh, I got stuff to buy. Ooh, actually, let me see. I 
could sail. Hmm. I thought Tuna was epic. Ain't none of it really worth too too much, is it? Sell one of those, sell one of those, sell one of those. This fish is famous for swimming upstream to spawn, found near the mountains. A rare catch. Can be used in recipes or sold to Bruno. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, tuna. Okay. Um. Chub. Okay. Now let's talk Damon's to let you. me stay on his couch when I've been in my cups a bit more than I should. <laughs> his place is nice and all, but he's got chicken bones everywhere. No wonder Kim's butcher is always out. Well, now, this the kind of thing city folk give each other? Well, you ungrateful old coot. <laughs> uh, Alright, all right, let's see. I should, let's see. Oh my gosh, I got a long ways to go. Just gonna have to sell all of it to her. Alright. Last talk night her. it took me an hour to find Juliet, and I found her just sitting by the lake, drawing. She didn't realize it was 10 p.m. already. <sighs> that girl. She was born with a call over her face. Did you know that? Worrying me from the moment she came into this world. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. Hey, how's farm life treating you, City Mouse? It's, uh, wearing me out, to be honest. Then don't forget to stop in at my place. I've been working on spring cocktail flavors. Okay. Hazel was so excited you were coming, it's all she could talk about. Why have I never seen you before now? Oh, uh... My dad and grandma had a falling out. It's kind of a long story. Hey, say no more. I know what it's like to be estranged from family. Well, I'm glad that they patched things up. All right, let's see. Uh, Mira. Every time I think I've finished all my patient's insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drive me out of this field. Mm, almost. Okay. I guess I got nothing here. I ain't got no gift for her. Alright. My dog's going a little bit crazy. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. My dog was... Being a little bit obnoxious. Uh, let's see if this dude's in here. Yeah. I never talked to him. Can I ask you a question, Cameron? What happened to the church that used to be located where the consciousness center stands? You know, I never really asked. I get the sense that when the mine closed, a lot of workers moved off the island. Without much of a congregation, there was no one to pay tithes for its maintenance. But past misfortunes can lead to new beginnings. That's what I believe. Got nothing for you.
Hmm. Our own way down. Here with my girl Natalia. <laughs> Angus makes the best bread, even if he gives me a hard time for always leaving the first slice in front of the door of my house. And why do you do that? Oh, it's just an old superstition my dad taught me. It's supposed to appease the house elves. Of course, I, I don't believe in any of that. <laughs> Not really. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. I got nothing. I think my dog's gonna be naughty and he's gonna need his little tail spanked. Alright, let's see, Angus. I need some bread. She said you like bread. So, the other day, I asked Kim if I could buy a couple of pints of pig's blood. For what? Uh, you know, do I even want to know? To make my Seton family blood pudding recipe, of course. But they got all grossed out. Oh what gosh. kind of butcher gets grossed out on blood? Maybe it's not so much the blood as the cooking it into a pudding. On purpose. Hey, don't knock until you try it. Anyway, they didn't have any to sell me since there's no ranch here anymore. It's too funny. I got nothing to sell you either. I mean, I could always buy stuff and sell it back to me, but that's kind of going to wear out of your wallet really fast. All right. My girl, Natalia. I got you some bread, sister. You said you like bread. How could I say no? Thank you. Talk to her later. I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> I'm the worst. I am the absolute worst. <sighs> Lena's always yeah. stressed out when the kids get out for summer break, but I like it when they hang around my shop, and Finn keeps his hands off the power tools when I tell him to. Most of the time. Mm-hmm. Cute. Alright, let's go into the f -f 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 forest and chippity chop chop chop. <laughs> I'm so ready to get that upgraded axe. You just don't even know. Marvelous. Toadstool. Hmm. I'd like to borrow your axe. Can I just have this axe, please? Thank you, no thank you. That's just a catfish. Mm. Oop. Mm. Holding out for the bottle. Sorry. Because you know I'm all about that bottle. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, 
I found something. Ooh. A recipe. Spanish omelet. Nice. I love games like this where you can cook. It's freaking awesome. Now I'm going to hold off for the big guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Fish. Ooh, a brown trout. Nice. I got like no energy left. Oof. make some food. Did I buy rice? I did not. Did I? No. Snickle Fritz. Oh, my ears itching. I'll be glad when we uh, get our stuff going in our garden. Kitty cat. Kitty kitty kitty. It's a cute kitty. Got no energy. I've got to go. Oh, Granny coming through. All right. <clears throat> got no sugar. I ain't got no nuts. Who got that? Fish fingers. Where'd I get flour? It's a cool idea. Cornbread. Are you gonna eat your cornbread? He came duck. Wow. Uh, fish stew. I'm gonna use up the tuna. Or cauliflower. Uh, I got no onion. I got no animal fat. Mm. Don't I have? I got some peanuts. Do have coconut. Alright. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's go check. I know it ain't done, but see how long. Not a huge amount. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the fish fingers. That did a lot. Surely to goodness there's some little trees I can chop around here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see any. Is there literally nothing? There's one teeny tiny baby tree. Oh, I need that mine open. Like, post haste. There is like no little trees, is there? What about you, you little earth? No, dang it. You're short. <laughs> ah. Little snaps. Alright, let's go over here and check this stuff. These are done. the flowers like that okay I really don't want to waste my wood. I'm going to wait. Because right now, I'm okay. almost done like a minute for now yeah I can't do any of that oh, until I get until I get into the uh, mine summon small things I'm going to attempt make my way over to the forest. Hey girl, hey! So let's go to the journal. Uh, so like Natalia, we got 
She's a new acquaintance. Um, is she my only? Okay. Mm. That's about it. How's your father doing, Tara? Dad? Oh, right. You know him. I almost forgot. He used to babysit me since both my parents worked. I was very sorry to hear about his falling out with your grandmother. Hi, Tara. I have been meaning to tell you. I love that little jacket dress combo. No one in Fairhaven cares much about fashion other than Francis, Sophia, and myself. Oh, thanks. That must have been one nice thing about living in the city. So many chic outfits to look to for inspiration. Um, it's too competitive. It's too I competitive. don't know. I think fashion in the city gets so competitive that everyone starts copying each other. We all end up looking the same. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. I guess there's some advantages to being stuck in a small town. Don't get me wrong. See, I, I like her outfit flowers, better. But my real dream is to open up my own boutique someday. When I do, folks from Milkwater will be coming here to check out the latest styles instead of the other way around. Oh, yay, finally. All right, do we have any of that, anything? Not have you met Shelby yet? He lives in the woods. He may seem a bit unusual, but he knows a lot about wild plants. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't have anything that I could give her that I even know that she would want. Sebastian. A few years ago, Miss Soft tried this exchange program where we went to a milkwater school every Friday. But the people there said I talk funny. They're the ones who talk funny. Like, where do all their R's go? So, <laughs> yeah, we don't do that program anymore. That's too funny. Mom sometimes calls Cameron's Consciousness Center una trufa. <laughs> but not when Parker or Angus are in the diner. <laughs> hey, how's school going? Okay, I guess. If I tell you a secret, promise not to tell anyone? Sure. I liked the old Mrs. Soft better. Mm. The old Mrs. Soft? Yeah. Mayor Soft's mom used to be the teacher. But then she died and his wife took over. The old Mrs. Soft was really nice. Hmm, that's sad. It's raining! Yeah, it's nice. I don't have to water my crops. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's puddles. Last time it rained, I made a bigger splash than Emmy. But Mommy wasn't even proud. She mm. said I just got my clothes muddy. I love his little outfit. So cute. Yeah. All right. Ay, ay, ay. I already talked to Parker. I already talked to all y'all. I don't know where I'm going. It's too early to go over there. All the stores are closing. I've already talked to you. Yeah. To him. He got a little spring in his step, doesn't he? Oh, look at him. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop to the barber shop. Alright, let's see. Everybody going to the bar? Uh, 
1.6 on a Tuesday? Oh, it's closed, so it doesn't even matter. Put yourself back. Hey, Kim. Did I talk to you? I did. Ugh. Any fish over here? No, there's nothing. Oh. All right, we're gonna head over here and wait for seven o'clock. Oh, maybe I can find some wood over here. Get it. <laughs> See, I feel like when that mine is able to be opened, I feel like we're going to need the energy. And we're going to need like as much wood as we can get. That's one of the reasons I don't want to spend all my wood. But I don't know for sure. I mean, it only makes sense. No, not here. Sticks. It's just really sad that there's like no other wood that I can get. <sighs> we'll wait till seven. No, hey, look, we got 284 points, so that's pretty dang good. I'm gonna grab a drink in my drink because I'm a thirsty girl. There goes Granny off in the woods. With her little Annabella shoes. Oh, or Annabelle, not Annabella. Pretty flowers. Look at her tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> uh, I guess I could talk to these peeps. Grow your relationship with the alkalites. I'm not the newest witch in the coven anymore. Now you have to run errands for everyone. Oh, that doesn't stop? Nope, it's in the fine print. Sorry. So you, but you don't get... What are the stars saying tonight, Farseer? They'll tell you themselves, if you start listening. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. <laughs> oh, yay! Ah, initiate! I'm Tara, remember? Not here, not now. You're a fledgling witch who is yet to master her powers. 
For that reason, we'll refer to you by the designation that indicates your skill level. Initiates are the first rank, but I expect anyone from Hazel's bloodline will quickly progress. To begin, as all witches before you, you must master the art of potion brewing. Speak to the Acolyte Witch. She will be able to guide you in your task. Okay. When crafting an incantation, the most important thing is evoking the very nature of what you're changing. That's where understanding and being clear in your intentions matters even more than the verse itself. The art varies from witch to witch. Hmm. All right. So I'm supposed to talk to who? You. The head witch lady said I should come and talk to you about potions. Right. We'll start you off with an easy one. That way you can't accidentally magic yourself into a pile of goo. What? Is is that a thing that could actually happen? Theoretically, yes. Practically, I've never seen it, so relax. Anyway, if you like Elder Hazel, you'll have a natural talent for herb lore. Go home and make some miracle grow potions. It will make your flowers grow faster. And other crops, too. Here's the recipe. Oh, nice. Bring it back to me when you're done. What it, Dave. Alright. It's gone. I feel like we have a purpose again. <laughs> sure would like that mine open any time now. Any freaking time now. And that broom. <laughs> What's the bell? Oh, that's just... You ain't getting my stuff. No more, never again. All right. So, oh, how close is this? Not, not close enough. Alright, let's go down here and see what we need for these potions. Okay. Miracle Grow. Ooh. Uh, I gotta do... One at a time, y'all. How long does it take? 24 hours. No, not much. Still a long time. Alright. Alright. Uh, let me check something really fast. I think we could maybe okay. Shouldn't. Ugh. Now we shouldn't. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleep, and then we're gonna wake up. Is it time for bed? And then I'll end it after we wake up. <sighs> Alrighty, Grandma's got a quest. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna end it right here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.